Okay, in our last video on set theory, in chapter 6, section 1, we need to talk about De Morgan's laws, and they deal with complementation. So, A union B complement is the same as A complement intersect B complement. And the other law, A intersect B complement, is the same as A complement union B complement. So let's take a look at Venn diagrams to explain that. Okay, so A intersect B is going to be this area right here. And then the complement of that is going to be everything outside of that. Okay, and now let's examine A complement. So the shaded area is A complement. It's everything that isn't A. And similarly, B complement, the shaded area, is everything that isn't B. So picture putting these diagrams on top of each other, and that's going to be the union. And the only area that isn't shaded is this. So it is exactly like A intersect B complement. So let's do an example. A uh, more concrete example, we're going to let u be the set of integers between 1 and 10. We're going to let a be the odd integers. Oops, we're going to let a be 1, 2, 4, 8, 9. b do th be 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. And we are going to figure out that a union b complement is the same as a complement intersect b complement. Alrighty, so a union b if I do A union B, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. A union B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. And so A union B complement is everything that's uh, in the universe, but not in here. And that's just going to be the numbers 7 and 10. So that's the left side of our equation here. It's the set that contains 7 and 10. Now let's look at A complement intersect B complement. So A complement is everything in here that is not in A. So that A complement is going to be 3, 5, 6, 7, and 10. And then B complement is going to be everything in here that is not in B. So that's going to be... 1, 2, 7, 9, 10. Okay, if we look at the intersection between these two, what elements they have in common, we see that they have 7 and 10 in common. So A complement intersect B complement is the same as A union B complement.